I hope you have helped the rabbit find the carrot. Shall we see the design I made? First, click on Start Project button on the top corner. As the site loads, click on How It Works button. Next, we click on this button named Remix. We will next click on the button Rename and type in the name as Hungry Rabbit. Next, click on the Save button. First, we are going to need a background. I will click on World and take the Set Background block and drag it to When Run position. I now click on this small arrow and picked a background with trees. Now we need a rabbit. Click the Sprites button under Blocks. Now drag the Make New Sprite at block below the Set Background block. Now we need to choose the correct sprite to find the rabbit. First, click on the small arrow in the Make New Sprite at block. Now select this and this rabbit. Next, let's place this rabbit at the bottom left corner. For that, click the small icon in the yellow box in front of the Make New Sprite block and bring the mouse over this background. Now, move your mouse and come to the lower left corner. Now, click the mouse and place the rabbit at the bottom left corner. So, just like I found the rabbit before, you need to try to find carrots. Place the carrots in the bottom right corner. Click the Sprites button under Blocks. Now, drag Make New Sprite at to this position. Now, we need to choose carrots. First, click on the small arrow in the Make New Sprite at block. Now, select carrots. Next, let's place the carrots at the bottom right corner. For that, click the small icon in the yellow box in front of the Make New Sprite block and bring the mouse over this background. Now, move our mouse and come to the lower right corner. Now, click the mouse and place the carrots at the bottom right corner. That's right, you have the rabbit and the carrot in the background. You have already created sprites of a rabbit and carrot. Now, let's help the rabbit to get to the carrots. First, you need to make the correct arrow key. For that, we first click on the events in the toolbox. Now, drag the block called when pressed up from the blocks and bring it near Make New Sprite block. Next, click this small arrow and select Right. Now here, the event condition is when right pressed, which means if the right arrow is clicked. Rabbit does not walk looking in front. Then, when you click the arrow to the right, the rabbit needs to turn to the side where the carrots are. That means the rabbit looking at the front needs to change its costume so that it is looking towards the right side. For that, we click again on the sprite part in the toolbox. Now, when we go down like this, there is a change costume to block. Now, drag this block and place it below the block that says when right pressed. We now click on the first arrow and select the image where the rabbit is looking at the front. After that, click on the next arrow and select the image where the rabbit is facing right. Next, when the rabbit goes to the east side, we have changed the look it should have. Now let's send this rabbit towards the carrot. For that, click on the behavior section in the toolbox and drag the sprite begins block and place it below the costume change block that we took before. Then click this small arrow and select the hopping rabbit. Now select the block called moving east from the green blocks in the behavior section. Drag the block called moving east and place it at the place where it says begin like this. Now what we have done is to change the costume as soon as we use the right arrow key and make our rabbit move towards the carrot that is to the east.
Now we have completed one part of coding successfully. The next part is where the rabbit takes the carrot and stays there. We need to add a new event to it. For that, click the event button in the toolbox and drag when touches block containing both the sprites of the rabbit and the carrot onto the workspace. Click on the first arrow and select the rabbit hopping sprite and click on the next arrow to select the carrots. Now we have to change the appearance of the rabbit when stopping. Just like before, click the behavior section from the toolbox. Now drag this block called sprite stop and put it here. As we did before, click this little arrow and change the rabbit sprite. Go back to the behavior section and again Take moving east from the green blocks and add it to the place where stop is. Now the rabbit has got the carrots. Now we need to remove these carrots from here. First, click on the sprite section of the toolbox. After that, the remove block is dragged down near the when touches block. Now click on this little arrow and select the carrots. After the rabbit finds the carrot, his costume should change to the one that is holding the carrot in his hand. Do you remember that we changed the rabbit's costume when it went to the east? So now you have to change it to something like rabbit holding the carrots. We click on sprite. Now drag this change costume to block and keep it below the remove block. Now click the arrow next to the small box where the purple rabbit is and click the image of the rabbit hopping. Now click the small arrow in the box with the brown rabbit and switch to the image with the carrots in hand. That's done now. Let's see if our coding is correct. First click the run button and then click the right arrow. Very good. You have helped the rabbit find carrots. Don't forget to WhatsApp us your designs to the phone number note 76 See you soon with another interesting lesson. Have a good day.